Hey guys, how are we doing? It's Joe the Bucket List Coach here. I want to talk to you about fatigue and uh, how we can overcome fatigue because fatigue can cost us an event and on an expedition, you know, through poor decision making, which often happens when we're fatigued, it can cost you a lot more than that. It can cost you your life um, or a serious injury. Um, now, we can guard against fatigue. Uh, you should look up uh, Tim Noakes and the central governor theory. He talks a lot about there being a central governor, which is the thing that actually controls our fatigue, not our fitness. Now, the way that we train against fatigue is not by fatigue-based training. What do I mean by fatigue-based training? That is, um, or you see it a lot in um, some uh, people training for the sport of fitness, um, you know, where they're just doing lots of reps really, really fast um, until they get tired out and then going on to something else and then, then going through like that. What we want to be doing is what we call sustain training. So basically sustain is where we're looking at our training and we're actually approaching all parts of it sub-maximally. So we actually work out what it is that we're trying to do, what is the response that we're trying to get, and we sit just under that. So a lot of the time that might be working at about an 85% effort so that we can be consistent throughout. And then during time and over time, okay, we can actually keep on pushing that out further so we can keep on our fatigue get later and later and later and later okay so that is sustain based training uh, versus fatigue based training where you just kind of keep going keep going as hard as you can until you can't do any more so sustain based training work at 85 percent try and keep consistent within the blocks that you're doing then have a rest work consistent then have a rest work consistent then have a rest and that will help proof you against fatigue the other thing that will help proof you against fatigue is putting yourself into environments. So when we go out, and again, it's done in a sustainable way. So we put ourselves into extreme uh, environments and extreme workouts and actually see what the body can do but we do it in a submaximal way. So it's not like just staying up and running for 24 hours or uh, jumping into our first 100 kilometer race and seeing how we go like during, uh, during training for a 100K race, going out and just doing a, a huge run all night, uh, not prepared for it. It's breaking it up and then working out bits that you can do, breaking it into segments and doing it in a submaximal way. That is sustain-based training, and that is what will help nudge our central governor higher and higher and higher, okay, which is gonna help protect us over time against fatigue. So if you wanna know more about how to plan and how to program against fatigue, uh, give us a shout. Uh, drop us a message below, and, uh, and we'll get back to you, and we'll, uh, we can have a chat.